Hello everybody, uh, this is Owen Colfer here, Irish author of such books as Artemis Fowl, Unplugged, and another thing, the sixth part in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy trilogy. And I'm sitting here uh, about to do the second in my occasional book recommendations for those of you who might need a little point in the right direction towards a good book. Now you're probably wondering, why is he sitting in his car, um, in the middle of a wood, doing book recommendations. Doesn't he have a nice uh, writer's hut to sit in? Well, I do, but really what I'm doing here is I am putting off going into the gym because I haven't been in the gym uh, for two years, possibly more. I know, I know it's shocking because you look at me and you think, what professional athlete. Olympian at the very least, but no, no, it's not true. I just, uh, I am woefully uh, unfit. Uh, on the fit meter, there's a tiny sliver between unfit and dead, and I'm just right in there, just like one degree above dead. So if I don't go into the gym today and walk or jog five kilometers, then this will be my last recommendation and you will be looking at it posthumously and if that indeed does happen I would hope that in a fit of nostalgia you go out and buy all my books and put my kids through college so I would appreciate that but anyway to the recommendation less about me and more about the book uh, one of the questions I get asked as a writer of books for young people is what is your favorite book for kids and um I kind of had a list that I always went through. It was Huckleberry Finn, uh, Treasure Island, The Princess Bride, Stig Up the Dump. And and that hasn't really changed, I suppose, in many years. Until recently, I read a book by this guy, Leon Garfield. And the book is called... Uh, I don't know which web that goes. Well, anyway, you'll have to read it sideways. The book is called Smith. And it is... One of the most exciting, well-written, fantastic, engaging, funny, uh, melodramatic uh, books that I've ever read. And I was engrossed from beginning to end. And that doesn't really happen to me anymore much. I'm a kind of a cynical, short attention span, middle-aged man. And I don't tend to spend four hours reading a book that's ostensibly for children. But one of the things I've always said is that if a book is good, anybody can read it. It doesn't matter who it's written for. And this is one of those books that can be read by literally anybody who's capable of reading it and you will love it. And it's set in Victorian London and it uh, centres around the story of young Smith, who is a thief living with his sisters in Victorian London. And he comes into the possession of a very valuable paper that someone has been murdered for. And we don't find out until the end what this paper is or why it's so important. But uh, there are certain shady individuals that want it back, which forces Smith to take refuge in the house of a rich man, where almost against his own wishes, he forms attachments uh, to the people who live there. And also there's a gentleman highwayman involved. There's a lot of skullduggery. There's prison breaks. Um... All sorts of things. There's everything you could want uh, in this book. And uh, so trust me, if you read it, you're going to enjoy it. Especially if you like uh, murky adventures set in Victorian London, which I do because I've written uh, two there uh, so far. So if you have four spare hours and you want to be transported into the past, this uh, Smith by Leon Garfield is the perfect time machine to bring you there. So I recommend you read that, unless, of course, this is my last video and I died, then I would like you, please, my last request is you go out and buy all my books, all 30 of them, and buy my kids the golden helicopter that they've always wanted. So this is Owen Culver, author of Artemis Fowl, signing off and going in to the gym. Wish me luck.